All right, so little solar Sunday energy update here. And um, yeah, the, the solar energies have been intense, but a different kind of intense. It's not the intensity from say the around the solar eclipse that was that was a different kind of intensity it's a kind of all at once sort of intensity um what's coming in right now is almost more of a blanketing energy it's just this it's like it's like being lost in a comfy blanket with you know no end in sight to it like you can't even get out of it if you wanted to you know <laughs> um that's the feeling um the solar energy is just pouring in pouring in pouring in to the point where it's it doesn't even feel so much like movement so much as presence just a continual presence right now is at least at least what it's uh, feeling like for me and constantly coming in right now is the word surrender so there's this this energy pouring in it feels like we've been storing up um, storing up energy storing up ideas storing up um, I think capacities to to love capacities to feel capacities to um, interact, things of this nature. I talked a bit at the beginning of the week or last week, um, the end of last week about this, this Gemini energy when the moon was in Gemini and that, that seemed very important. And I think, I think indeed, um, you know, the cancer energy that the moon then went into. So this, this, uh, air or swords energy, this water, uh, cups energy both kind of an energy of twinning from from certain respects um, especially Gemini but um, with the cancer energy um, that can kind of take on a bit of that energy in my experience as well but it's more from the emotional side like emotional mirroring if you will um, so so a lot of that has been coming in and yeah so here we are on another sunday a soul day s-o-l solar um we are not out of luck that is not that is not what that means um and yeah the word is surrender it's the feeling of being on a roller coaster like it's it's almost like we've been gearing up gearing up gearing up through like the waiting in line parts of being on the roller coaster and it's like more recently maybe we're we've been climbing you know how the a roller coaster will 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 climb up that first hill and then eventually you're gonna hit that first hill and when the last car tops the first hill then you go and there's no stopping right at that point there's no stopping and that that is the energy today it's an energy of okay we've been climbing the hill 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 and it can feel slow but also there's a lot of energy around it a lot of nervous energy potentially some anxiety maybe uh, but this energy of of just uh, potential for capacity for and and, and a, an inevitability right um as soon as we top the the hill and start going down we're gonna go down like there's no stopping so um and this isn't um to, to be taken as a negative oh it's down all downhill from here right that's that's not the energy it's an energy of movement um that there's movement coming and i think um that's a good thing you know worldwide for at least a century now um, there's been a sense of no movement or the movement that we've had isn't the movement that maybe we really want or you know why why can't we figure this out why do we have such crappy leaders um, all these types of things um, there's this energy of things m moving things kicking loose 
Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's up to the collective of humanity exactly how that turns out. Um, how much we do, um, how far we go with making, you know, changes and developing and growing in a direction that it seems like, you know, the great majority of us would rather uh, grow into, even as we have unresponsive, you know, leadership. And, and so I guess along with this, then there's this almost sense of a runaway train and everybody get on it because, um, you know, the, the structures in place, the old leadership, the old guard in place, and this isn't a particular political party in my country or any other. This is this is like the whole old 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 head way of looking at things. Let's just put it that way. Um, and a lot of it's based in either kind of negative mindsets, lack mindsets. Oh, we can't do that. You know, um, in, in the United States for a very long time, it's been, oh, we can't, we, you know, we can't be mean to corporations, they'll leave us, and then we'll, we'll have poverty. Well, we already have poverty, and a lot of it's because of corporations, so it's like, stop being afraid, you know, and that's what we've been learning this past year, two years, three years, stop being afraid of refusing what doesn't serve you. And as a culture, as a society, as a world, there's, there's a moment of that coming and it feels like, okay, this is, this is where the momentum starts to pick up. And so we've been pulling in energy, pulling in energy, and um, yeah, at some point, the energy kind of gets away from us, to be honest, and we go. And we've aimed where we've aimed, and we head where we head and we see where it is we're going now. And this is also part of then, you know, human becoming. Um, you know, we don't, we don't live in a world where we perfectly plan everything and, and, and you know, sense everything that we need to sense and um, see everything that we need to see and, and, and think through everything we need to think through and then we do the thing and it turns out perfectly that's just not reality that's not this reality um and it's not going to be i think you know in in the spiritual community sometimes there's this sense that somehow we're moving to this magical fifth dimension world where all everything just works and it's that's that's not it that's not it um, what we're doing is we're becoming heightened in our awareness to possibilities, to outcomes down the road. We're, we're becoming more and more sensitive. And, it's, and, and this isn't some mystical thing. We're becoming more sensitive because we've experienced a lot of crap. And that's going to make you sensitive. It's, there's, no, there's no big secret to it. Um, a lot, a lot, if not most people who are highly empathic have gone through shit. Um, so of course they're sensitive. Of course you're sensitive. Of course I'm sensitive. That's how that works. Um, you know, some people go through things and they, they don't get sensitized, but others do. And, and, um, so there's a, a, a wrinkle here in how this goes is moving towards a world that listens to those who are sensitive that indeed a human world that listens to the non-human world as the non-human world is telling the human world things and the human world has spent a lot of time ignoring all that um, and the parts of the human world that that even wanted to be responsive to that um, have been suppressed and driven driven away and literally driven extinct um i mean again i live in the united states um you know i'm not i'm not about romanticizing um older cultures and older peoples there's there's always good and bad and and, and dark and light and everything but let's let's face it um european settlers drove out a, a group of people in in the Americas that were much more sensitive to the landscape, to listening to the natural world and responding. 
and not taking too much. And rather than being quote unquote not advanced, um, I would put forward to you that in fact, those were people descended from an earlier civilization that, that hadn't learned its lesson, got advanced, went too far, collapsed. And these are the folks who realized and, and were, you know, left after that to go, okay, you know, this is, this is all we need. We don't, we don't need more than this. Um, we just need what the world gives us and it's fine. And lived much more in tune. And that's, that's what's being brought in so much right now. And here's the thing too, and I, I talked about romanticizing things and, and a lot of times, you know, we, we, there's a human impulse to always want to get back to the, the golden age, right? The golden age. And it doesn't really matter what you identify as the golden age. It's, it's always false in some way. You can't go back. Um, again, it's, it's more like life is a series of, of roller coaster hills. You, you don't go back. Um, and it's like a roller coaster that just keeps going. It doesn't come back around. Um, maybe it does, but it takes so long that uh, in a one human lifetime, no, that ain't ever coming back in your lifetime. Um, you know, some people long for the golden age of the fifties and, and, and especially in the United States, it's like, first of all, it wasn't a golden age. There were a lot of people who had troubles just like any other time. It was good for some people, for m more people in the quote unquote middle class than had been. But you can't go back to it. Like, that was a very specific recipe um, that went into all that. And it's not that we can't pull lessons from it. We could. We can. Um, and we can incorporate those things. But it's not just going to come back. And there's no just magic, quote-unquote, common sense that's just going to magically get us there either. Um... <laughs> for for someone who identifies as, as a witchy person and as a druid um this isn't how magic works folks <laughs> this isn't how magic works okay this isn't how we change the world it's not how we grow and develop we don't just flip a switch we we grow we develop it takes time that's how it works and we grow and we develop within the time and the world that is now. That is now. With the people who are here now. And we do this collectively in the now, in the present. And the more we start living in that present, the more we start making decisions for that present, and also for our future, but in a future that's based in the present, in, in, a, in, a, in a very present sensitivity again. That's a key word here right now. And I think this also goes hand in hand with surrender, right? Surrender is about being sensitive to what you need to surrender to, right? Um, it's not good to just surrender to everything. That's That would be unwise at best. Um, we do need to surrender, but what do we need to surrender to? That's about being sensitive, right? Being sensitive to what's good for us, what's not good for us. What's good for humanity, what's not good for humanity. What's good for the human world, or the non-human world, what's not good for the non-human world. That non-human world is telling us all the time what isn't good for it. We can see it because, oh, a forest is now dead. Uh, what happened? I mean, if there's a valid science, this is it, right? Like, what happened? Let's not do that. It's just, it's that simple. It's not so complicated. It's not something that takes endless, endless debate over what's going to be good and not good for the quote-unquote economy. That's bullshit. We do the right things consistently for, and surrender to what is actually good for human beings and actually good for the planet long term and we end up in a completely different destination than where we're currently headed and that's it that's all we need to do 1444 on the timer that's it and that's the message for today the only thing I would do to individualize this 
is to again highlight that this matters in your own personal life, okay? This isn't just um, highfalutin pipe dreams about changing the world on a, on a scale that you and I as human beings, you know, we tend to feel like we can't possibly have anything to do with that, right? It's too big. Well, it starts small. It starts with people living the life that they wanna live now, not waiting. Don't wait to live the life you want to live. Start living that life now. Now, of course, some things are gonna take time, and that's the point. Again, everything doesn't just change. It takes time, right? You start doing things a little differently. You start aiming a little differently. And over the course of months, and a year, and then two years, and then all of a sudden it's a decade, everything's very different for you personally, and enough of us do this for the planet as a whole. And I think if there is a valid awakening happening, this is what it is, okay? So do not get caught up in sort of very um, apocalyptic thinking where either the world's going to end and you're going to be one of the lucky ones that survives to some, um, you know, like again, golden future where, you know, humanity lives in the bush and, you know, is our hunter gatherers again. I mean, there's, that's a possible future. It is. But like, is that the one you want? Is it really the one you want? Is it really the one that most of us want? Is that where we're collectively actually heading? A <laughs> tear just went by. <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, just in my backyard. Um, that's, that's the thing, okay? Um, it's not just going to happen. Where are we actually collectively heading? What's probabilistic? What's possible? There are many things possible that we are told are impossible. That is definitely true. But we're not going to get there um, by sitting in our own little personal worlds worrying about the world burning. That's not how we get there. All right? We get there by embracing the solar energy coming in, letting it fuel us, letting it shed light into our lives. Again, say this over and over. The solar energy is ancestor energy, okay? It's ancestor energy it is deeply connected to who we are. Everything on this planet that is alive, sooner or later it gets energy from the sun, almost all of it. And that means we're very connected to the solar energy. Our ancestors are very connected to the solar energy. Um, they live in that energy they live in that energy when we pass we live in that energy we become one with that energy energy does not pass away matter breaks down and it goes into different components and energy disperses yes um, but things get left behind imprints get left behind and at the quantum level so much is there so much is there so let that in let it work on you let it surprise you let it push you in directions you weren't maybe thinking to go and see where it takes you and it's going if we if we do this uh enough of us um it's gonna make a change it's gonna take time it's gonna develop and that's where we're at that's your solar energy update um and uh just really appreciate uh yeah any any comments any uh anyone who's watching please give me a like uh, if you get to the end of the video or anywhere near it please give me a like um you know subscribe do share on, on whatever platforms you can appreciate that and uh more things coming and uh that's it for now sending you all kinds of love and peace and all of that sunshiny light that you can stand right now <laughs>